What's going on everybody? It's Jack. Welcome back to this week's video. In today's video, I'm gonna take you guys through some of my favorite breakfast ideas that are ready in five minutes. To start, we're going with some protein oats. This is super simple. You just need some instant oatmeal. This is just the Kroger brand. I personally love the maple brown sugar. So we've got that right here. We're gonna do two packets of that. We're gonna add in one scoop of protein as well as a cut up apple. I don't know why, but I really like the mixture. Also, we're gonna have a little bit of cinnamon, boom, right here. So it's kind of like an apple cinnamon oatmeal mix um, with a little bit of protein from the protein powder. Also, I'm gonna start with water mixing the oatmeal, but then when we add the protein, we'll have a little bit of almond milk on the side to make sure it blends really nicely. But first thing we'll do, go ahead and cook our oatmeal. And like I said, we're gonna be using two packets of oatmeal per pack. It says to go ahead and add two third cups of water and microwave for one and a half minutes. I'm doing two packets, so it'll actually be a little bit more closer to a cup and a half of water as well as two and a half minutes. Personally, I've found that if you take one of these packets that's meant to be filled up and just go ahead and fill it all the way up to the top rather than the one packet line, it is enough water for two packets. Give that a quick stir. And this will go in the microwave for two and a half minutes. And while our oatmeal is in the microwave, we're gonna keep this nice and efficient under five minutes. So go ahead and cut up your apple. I personally love honey crisp because I feel like they're always fresh, have a nice, nice crisp to them, hence the name. Um, we'll go ahead and cut that. I always cut the core out first. Boom, there's your core. You can munch on that if you want. And then go ahead and cut it up into smaller pieces. And just like that, two and a half minutes later, we have our cooked oatmeal. The bowl is gonna be extremely hot, so just like in the bedroom, use some protection. Go ahead, get that down there, and then we'll add our scoop of protein. This is Transparent Lab. This is their vanilla, because that's what I've been using every morning, but you can go ahead and get their cinnamon toast as well, which tastes really good. So go ahead and throw one scoop in there. Go ahead, give that a quick mix, and we'll be very, very cautious with how much milk we add, because we don't want to add too much and make it like a soup. We just want to add enough to get it to actually mix with the protein. Always start adding a little bit less than you think because you can't take milk out, but you can always put more in. Boom, and then just like that, as you can see right there, we still have our oatmeal consistency, so it's not too runny. So that looks like just the right amount of milk. Next, we'll go ahead and add in all of our apples. This is always a ton of apples, I will say, so go ahead and if you want to eat some before you actually put it in, feel free. We'll go ahead and add our apples in there, boom. And then just a dash of some cinnamon. And just like that, under five minutes, you have an easy, healthy, high protein meal. But I'll go ahead and read you guys the macros real quick. And this meal comes out to be 475 calories. It is 75 grams of carbs, only four grams of fat, and 36 grams of protein. A great way to start your day, once again. Super simple and easy, tastes great. Now I'm gonna go ahead and dig in. I'll see you guys at meal number two. For breakfast, option number two, we have something that has been a staple in my diet for probably a few years now. It is some Greek yogurt. So personally, I love the Dan Light and Fit, as you guys can see right here. They have like the little cups like this with different flavors. This is peach. Or what I like to do is buy a bigger one that's like vanilla. So just right here, it comes out to be, let's see, for 170 grams, it's only 90 calories and 14 grams of protein. I also love to pair it with some fruit. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna measure out two servings of our Greek yogurt. Then we'll add on 50 grams of our raspberries and 50 grams of our blackberries. And as far as the macros for this meal, it is 221 calories, 29 grams of carbs, zero grams of fat, and 29 grams of protein. It's pretty much a protein bomb with a little bit of nutrition on top in the form of berries. And you can pretty much customize this to however you want. If you want to add um, the flavored Greek yogurts instead of the vanilla, you can use any fruit on top. You can add protein granola, you could add some honey, you could add a little bit of sugar-free syrup that I've been using. I'll take just a little bit of sugar-free syrup and sprinkle right on top. It will absolutely curb any sweet teas you have. And also don't restrict this just to breakfast or a snack. I sometimes have this for dessert, but I'm gonna go ahead and dig into this. Also, another great topping for this is actually a sponsor of today's video, Magic Spoon. And Magic Spoon fits absolutely perfect into a video like today because it takes literally 30 seconds, if not less, to make a bowl of Magic Spoon. And right here, I have one of my favorite flavors, blueberry muffin. I think top for me is fruity. It's always been fruity, always will be. But I'm gonna try a few other ones. Blueberry muffin and frosted have been my next top two. So I'll pour myself a serving of blueberry muffin right here. 
and then we'll go ahead and add a little bit of almond milk. But the great thing about Magic Spoon, it has 13 to 14 grams of protein per serving. It has only four or five grams of net carbs and zero grams of sugar, which is my favorite part of the whole thing. It pretty much is childhood nostalgia in a bowl. You have to eat cereal and it'll help you hit your protein target, which I personally never thought would be true. It tastes absolutely delicious and it's keto friendly, gluten free, grain free, soy free, wheat free, and naturally flavored, which for me, when it comes to my food, I like to keep things clean, helps with my digestion and overall ability to perform in the gym, which for me is a no brainer. So if you're in a rush or even as a sweet treat at the end of the night, have some Magic Spoon. I highly recommend going and picking up some Magic Spoon for yourself. Go ahead, build your own variety pack. You can go to their website. I highly recommend, once again, fruity, Blueberry muffin and frosted are my top three. Then go ahead and add whatever flavors you want. But you can actually get $5 off using code Perez5 or go to magicspoon.com forward slash Perez5. The details will be down in the description below. But I highly recommend Magic Spoon as an easy, delicious way to get some protein into your diet that tastes amazing. Without further ado, we'll head to the next meal. Another quick tasty breakfast is gonna be some eggs and toast, but with a little bit of a twist. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna have two slices of bread. This is just Sara Lee whole wheat bread. I believe it is 70 calories per slice. Obviously there's higher and lower calorie bread options, but we're gonna go with this. And then also we're gonna use two eggs. So pretty much what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the bread, we're gonna go ahead, not cut a hole in it, but actually just kind of compress it. So we have a little, basically a little divot for where the egg will sit. So we're gonna go ahead and use a glass. You kind of press down the middle a little bit, just so we have a little place where the egg will sit so it won't spill over. And then we'll repeat that on our other one. And actually, I'm gonna give you guys a better view so we can kind of see what I'm doing in the actual air fryer. So give me one sec. All right, so as you guys see, we have our bread and we kind of punched out a little bit of a hole. So we kind of want to compress that, not make it too, too thin, but just a little thinner. So we have some place for the egg to kind of fall. So we're gonna compress that a little bit with the fingers. There we go. And then we'll go ahead and crack two eggs in. Now that we have our eggs, we'll go ahead and add a touch of salt and pepper. So it's right on top of the eggs, boom, a little pepper, and then a little bit of salt as well. And now this is where it might take a little bit longer than five minutes, although I know I said this is like a five minute breakfast video, depending on what you want your yolks to be, if you want them runny, if you want them over easy, over medium, or want them firm. But now we're gonna go ahead and throw this in the air fryer at 365 for six minutes and then we have breakfast. And just like that, six minutes later, we have our toast, I guess egg toast, I don't even know what you call this, like eggs and toast, but it's just like an egg in toast. But this looks absolutely amazing. Hope I can show you guys this without it falling. We got that nice crisp toast, we got the eggs. I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna head over, and I'm gonna actually cut into it, show you guys the intersection, as well as the macros. And this smells absolutely amazing. So we'll go ahead and do a quick cross section for you guys. And like I said, this was six minutes at 365 degrees. So this, okay, so this actually came out. So yes, we have some runny yolk. I'll show you guys. So let's spill. So we have some runny yolk on the outside as you guys can see right there. But really I would say that's more like over medium is what I would kind of call it. So shoot, you can actually probably do this for four minutes for like really runny eggs. Um, and then the toast also got very crispy and crunchy, but I mean, I'm not mad about this. Once again, I do like my eggs a little bit more runny, so you could probably go four minutes for runny. This was six minutes, and I mean, the yolk is pretty much cooked completely. So yeah, if you're scared of runny yolks, go ahead and do six to seven minutes. We'll go ahead and give this a quick taste test as well. Oh my gosh, that crunch. I mean, that toast is like, in my opinion, this, this kind of toast is like perfectly done. It has all the golden brown that we need. It has a little bit of texture to it, but it's not like burnt at all. It's just like firm, which is my favorite, or crispy. Let's go with crispy. That's amazing. Wow. All right, so quickly we'll go over the macros. We're actually gonna feed the beast as well. So this comes out to be 260 calories. It is 26 grams of carbs, 10 grams of fat, and 16 grams of protein. Super simple, tasty breakfast. Obviously, eggs are very healthy for you. A lot of healthy fats, a lot of micronutrients in those, and then a little bit of bread. You can even use bakery bread if you wanna go a little bit higher calorie. You can use low calorie bread to go make it low calorie. And also, feel free to top it with whatever you want. If you like um, ketchup, hot sauce, avocado for some healthy fats, feel free to spice it up, but I personally think this is a good enough meal as is. Mm. 
And now we're gonna see if Meiji can catch. All right, so hopefully you guys can see her way over there. Um, we have some mowers outside, but we have a little piece of toast. I think, no, stay, stay. I think this will be the longest throw we've ever had on YouTube. So we're gonna slowly get better and better, but let's see if she can catch this. Nope. Oh, you got it back here? Nope. All right, cover. Y'all ready? Nice, yes! Let's go, good girl! Good girl, yeah! Now we'll go ahead and I'll see you guys at the next meal. And another super high protein breakfast option is gonna be a smoothie. So we have our protein powder right here. This is just some uh, French vanilla from Transparent Labs. We have our fruit of choice, which this medley is a blueberry, strawberry, mango mix. But pick whatever fruits you want. Don't feel like you need to copy my exact fruits. If you wanna make a strawberry banana smoothie, if you wanna go just berries, blackberries, blueberries, raspberries, feel free, but we're using one and a half servings of this, which will come out to be 210 grams. We're also gonna use 40 grams of spinach. This is just basic tender spinach. We're gonna use about half a cup um, of spinach right there. Then we're also gonna have some almond milk and honey. We're gonna use half a serving of honey, about 30 calories worth, um, which comes out to be, let's see, about 10 grams, adds a little bit of sweetness. And then also our almond milk to keep it low calorie rather than some whole milk, anything like that. But we're gonna go ahead and measure this out. Also, Maisie knows that whenever we use this berry mix, she gets a few blueberries. So I'm gonna pour this out and we're gonna do a little bit of feed the beast as well. One more, ready, sit, three, yeah, good girl, yeah, good one. All righty, fill out our protein. We're using one scoop of protein as well. Also, shameless plug, code Perez saves you 10% on your Transparent Labs order. It supports me, supports Maisie, and supports the channel, so greatly appreciate it. Anybody use that code. Um, and also, feel free to DM me um, so I can thank you in person. Uh, if you do use my code, I really appreciate it. And we'll add our spinach, 40 grams of spinach. And I go with a cup and a half of almond milk. If you want your smoothie to be a little bit thicker, I'd say you can probably just use a cup. If you want a little bit thinner, you can probably use two cups by like a cup and a half. And yes, I filled this thing up to the absolute brim just because I basically figured out how much I can actually fit in here. Um, yes, it is really close to the no-fill line, but hey, once we start blending it, it all works together. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead, throw this on the blender, then we have our smoothie. Now go ahead and read off the macros for this meal. So it comes out to be 327 calories. It is 42 grams of carbs, four grams of fat, and 32 grams of protein. Plus it has so many vitamins and minerals that you need in your diet. So I highly recommend, uh, basically for anyone trying to be healthy out there to have some sort of smoothie in their diet. I think it's a great way to get a lot of fruits and vegetables in your diet. It tastes great, it's super easy to make. Another big thing, I know a lot of times people say don't drink your calories if you're trying to lose weight, but that's more pertaining to like sodas. Uh, when you have like a soda that's, I mean, 200 calories with absolute no nutritional value and something can slip down very quickly. Whereas this, um, unless you don't get brain freezes, which I 100% do, this will take you a solid 15 to 20 minutes to drink the whole thing. Um, unless obviously you scarf it down and don't get brain freezes. Um, but for me, um, it takes, yeah, solid 15, 20 minutes, absolutely loaded with fruits and vegetables. I think this is like at least one and a half servings of vegetables and one and a half servings of fruit for me each day, packed with vitamins and minerals, like I said before. Um, but yeah, so this was pretty much a video going over some like what I said, um, basically super easy breakfast ideas. But one quick note, this had absolutely no meal prep in it. So I'll kind of refer you guys back to my breakfast casserole video with my like French toast casserole, the uh, baked oats casserole and the breakfast casserole. If you guys do want options that are quick and easy in the morning, also meal prepping is a great option. But this was a video where instead of having meal prep, it's something where you can kind of like, didn't have anything ready, but you can go ahead and whip something together in five minutes, just pulling things from your pantry or fridge. But yeah, without further ado, I'll go ahead and end the video here. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys next time. Now Maisie, you say peace. Peace.